سفر کرد با بلا آرزوی دل ما سفر کرد با بلا الحمدلله that we are in the times where the ziyarat of our Mawla Sayyid al-Shuhada Abi Abdullah al-Hussain has become very very easy as compared to the previous times where people were persecuted, victimized, tortured, injured, and even killed just for performing the ziyarat of one of the two leaders of the youth of paradise. The love of dunya can down a person and down pe the people to that extent that they can even kill the visitors of the shrine of the leaders, one of the two leaders of the youth of paradise. It is the sharaf, nobility and dignity of a mu'min given by Allah that he goes for the ziyarat of Imam Hussain salam. Allah has honored you. If you are visiting the shrine of Imam Hussain, you are honored by Allah. You are mukarram in the eyes of Allah. This is the biggest karamat available that Allah allows you to get your pass to the paradise. Now what is left is the ma'rifat. What is left is our renewal of the oath. And that's why we go there. Not only, not only to get rid of our sins, and not only to get the license to go to the paradise, but also to renew our oaths with the walayat of the Imam when we are present live in front of him. There was a conversation taking place between a Shia and a Sunni, and that Sunni brother was disputing about the importance of the ziyarat of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. And this Sia was trying to convince him about the importance of ziyarat specifically on a Thursday night. And he, this Shia brother, went for the ziyarat as usual and that Sunni brother did not go because he wasn't convinced. So when he went there, when this Shia brother went there for the ziyarat, he found that Sunni brother was also present. And he asked him the reason he was arguing about the importance of ziyarat of Imam Hussain on the Thursday night. And now he himself is present there in Karbala, in the Haram of Abi Abdullah al Hussain. And he said that after disagreeing with you, I slept and in the dream I saw that there is an Amariya. There is the divine carriage is descending from the heavens to the earth, towards the earth. And I was told in my dream that inside that Amariya, inside that carriage is Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra And Sayyidah Khadija sallallahu alayhi and there were leaflets dropping down from that carriage and I read on the leaflet it was written Bara'atum minan nar le zawar al Hussain laylat al Jumu'ah that means freedom from the hellfire for the visitors of Hussain on the Thursday night this is, this is what changed his life so one ziyarat of Imam Hussain 
We have multiple narrations, not one or two, that teach us arifan bihaqqihi. Some of the narrations say that la ghaira mustankif wa la mustakbir. Anyone who has who performs goes for the ziyarat of Imam Hussain Islam while having the ma'rifat of the haq of Imam Hussain. Haq of Imam Hussain means the walayat of Imam Hussain Islam. That's the biggest haq of the masoom on our neck. To accept and obey his walayat and accept him as the commander in chief of the universe appointed by Allah and we should be obedient towards his command. So while someone has the ma'rifat of the haq and right of walayat of Hussein alayhi salam without ghaira mustankifin wala mustakbar without having any um, you know any kind of rejection towards the haq or any kind of arrogance we are not supposed to show rejection towards the haq we are not supposed to show arrogance towards in, in the imam alayhi salatu salam and his commands if someone visits Imam Hussain with this situation in his soul, Kotiba lahu alfo hijjatin makbula wa alfo umratin mabrura, 1000 accepted Hajj are written for him, and 1000 accepted Umrahs are written for him. In kana shaqiyan kutiba sa'ida. The hadith of Imam Sadiq says, if this person was shaqi, that means uh, shaqi al qalb, worse than stone hearted, kutiba sa'idan, he will be written as a spiritually and eternally successful individual. Yahudu fi rahmatillah, he will be drowned in the mercy of Allah. What happens when we are drowned in the mercy of Allah? All the sins are forgiven. Another narration from Safwan ibn Mahran al-Jamal says about the ziyarat of Imam Hussain alayhi salam that any person who goes for the ziyarat of Imam Hussain alayhi salam, you know, obviously the general conditions of the ziyarat I already mentioned which we learned from multiple hadiths, haq, the ma'rifat of the haqq al-walaya and without the istinkaf, without the istikbar, without rejection, without arrogance. Those are the general conditions which we already have learned. So uh, this narration teaches us that a person who goes for the ziyarat of Imam Hussain Islam, Shayya'ahu Jibra'ilu wa Mika'ilu wa Israfil hatta yarji' ila manzilihi. Jibra'il and Mika'il and Israfil accompany him until he returns back to his house. So since the time you step out of your door of the house, remember the leader of all the angels is along with you. And his brother Mikael, there is brotherhood between Jibreel and Mikael salam. Mikael is with him and one of the, uh, one of, one of the four greatest angels or five greatest angels depend on how we consider the superiority so one of the four or five greatest another one of the four greatest and five uh, four or five greatest angels of allah which is israel who blows into the trumpet upon the command of allah twice he is going to be with you from the time you step out of your door till the time you return back Throughout your travel, these angels are with you. Now you are heading towards a goal that is already performed by 124,000 prophets of God multiple times in their lives. This is something, this is something that we need to cherish about this blessing. If Allah gives us the blessing of going for ziyarat, this is a life changer blessing of Allah. Peace and the first thing we are supposed to say when we have our first look at the dareeh of Sayyid al Shahda alayhi salam, it is in the hadith of Imam al Baqir alayhi salam. The first thing we are supposed to say when we have a look at the dareeh al Mubarak, Allahu Akbar. So whoever says Allahu Akbar, and whoever says, La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah. 
I bear witness, in other words, that there is no God, no one worthy of worshipping except Allah and He, Him alone and He has no partner. Anyone who says this statement when he first looks towards the dhariq of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants him a radwan al akbar, the great pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and makes him meet with the Holy Prophet Ibrahim and Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is just the reward of saying that short statement. You know, as soon as you look at the dhari of Imam Hussain, and why shouldn't be that reward there? Because Imam Hussain's walayat is the personification of the risalat of Rasulullah's survival, the survival of the messengership of the Holy Prophet, and the survival of Tawheed and oneness of Allah is only because of the walayat of Hussain ibn Ali. Sing, John.